believe you have a visitor, Jude. I I'm sorry, everyone. I just need to borrow the sheriff real quick. <sighs> Army chopper spotted a body down at Thorn Beach. I thought no one went to Thorn Beach. Not this time of year. Stranded in the spooky town. She's breathing. She's breathing! Open your eyes. Jude! What is this? She took my heart. I think she took my soul. Come on! We made it. Is your mom here? In the water. You listed a date of birth almost 150 years from now. Help us understand how that's possible. You can't imagine what will become possible. I see a storm. Over 400 people drown. I just wish I knew why. How did you get in the water? We were running away. To what? The war. But there's no war here. There will be. Take me to the dead. What were you looking for in the hangar? My daughter. Hey, drop the weapon! On your knees! Hands behind your head! Did you see that? How does she do that? This one is different. She's a threat to my town, and I deserve to know what I'm up against. There could be more with powers out there. The ones you need to fear, they're already here. We're all gonna be okay. I have a town full of people wondering what's going on. We're not the first ones to come here. A brand new television series called The Crossing is coming out later this year in the fall of 2017. Now I had no idea that this uh, show even existed. I was told by brother Sean Malone on the In Plain Sight Facebook page by him sending me a private message with the trailer so I really thank him for that. But if the title itself doesn't give away the agenda here, I'm hoping that by the end of this video and the images that are shown, the screenshots and the information, uh, Otherwise, that you will see possibly what I believe we are being telegraphed like crazy. We know that the Illuminati, the powers that be, the Luciferian elites who run this world, they are anxiously awaiting their gods to come, especially the false messiah whom all of the false religions and uh, world dictators and leaders, the spirit of the false messiah is going to culminate in his arrival. But if we look at even what I am DB says about this uh, particular show. These are called refugees from a war-torn country start showing up to seek asylum in an American town. Only the country these people are from is America and the war they are fleeing is 250 years in the future. The local sheriff with a past, a federal agent, and a mother in search of her missing refugee daughter drive this allegory with a surprise conspiracy at the center. So really, this is an allegory for what they're really trying to show us. And again, just thinking of this word, the crossing, remember that even in Freemasonry, this concept of the crossing is very prominent. In fact, on the capstone or on the, uh, the Royal Arch of Freemasonry, you've got this capstone with this number 69. That actually is the number of the crossing according to astrological and uh, Illuminati occultic pagan symbolism that number is on the capstone which represents the coming of the false messiah in fact it's quite obvious when they erect these arches of Baal that are going up all over the world they don't put the capstone on it because their false messiah hasn't arrived yet however these arches are definitely heralding at least in my opinion that the false messiah is on the verge of coming on the scene very very soon and I believe this show the crossing is all about that so let's just look at some screenshots here the trailer begins with a reference to Canaan they come at this place called Port Canaan 
funny that this is the same place that was infamous in the Bible for major pagan religion. When we go to an article that I've shown before uh, about uh, the fertility cults of Canaan, this is basically what the Illuminati, Mystery Babylon, all of the pagan religions are rooted in, the fertility cults of Canaan, which come from Babylon, of course. It was always what uh, Abba Yahweh told his people Israel not to participate in. They were forbidden to uh, go and worship Baal, but that is exactly what they did, and it's also what the people of this world, the, the, the Illuminati and uh, the Luciferian elites, this is whom they worship. They worship Baal, they worship Satan, they worship Nimrod, all the same thing. Also, it's quite interesting that uh, the year that is given is this year. So is something about to happen this year? Could be, you know, we are constantly seeing this 2017 showing up in many movies. In fact, it showed up in that movie Oblivion that was done a few years ago with uh, Tom Cruise and it showed the Super Bowl of 2017, literally like the last one. So possibly is something about to happen this year. Now, the next shot we see, we meet the main character. His name is Sheriff Jude, uh, played by Steve Zahn. Now, he's pulled out of his yoga class for some big news. And I, you know, I already found it interesting that they chose to name this guy Jude because when you're speaking of the crossing, do you know what the book of Jude speaks of? I'm sure some of you already know, but the book of Jude actually speaks of the angels who left their first estate and came to the earth. Uh, they were supposed to be watchers. They were supposed to be protecting the earth, but they chose to leave their first estate. So they crossed over from their heavenly estate and they came over here and they mated with human women. All right. So talking about the crossing, how the angels did that. If we go to Jude itself and from uh, verse six and the angels that did not keep within their original authority, but abandoned their proper sphere, he has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting change for the great judgment day. And that's from the CJB. So I believe that it's interesting, right from the book of Jude, that the sheriff just so happens to be named Jude. That is no coincidence. I believe they are already showing what this show is going to be about. And it is yet again about the fallen angels crossing over into our realm where they are not supposed to be and they are going to be unleashed again. As we keep going, we see Sheriff Jude about, uh, or sorry, told about a body that is down at the beach where nobody usually visits, visits except uh, this ain't the only oddity that he sees. The sheriff and this town are literally about to experience some extremely bizarre and unusual stuff. And guess what? They are coming from the water. So all of a sudden, another officer yells to Jude, who gets up and turns around to see more bodies coming in the water. So what's going on here? There's apparently 500 of them. So how could the five be code for the fifth age? And they're called refugees. So where have all of these bodies come from and why? You know, what is going on there? I honestly believe that we are being shown this water because they are coming from the second heaven. They are coming from the waters above. If you are awake to the true cosmology of our world, you know that above uh, the sky is really the waters above. The firmament is what keeps it from collapsing onto us. And this is the realm of Lucifer, the dragon. This is where these fallen angels reside. In fact, many movies have depicted portals uh, always with water going through the water, ending up in another location. So it's the same kind of thing that we are being shown. It is no coincidence. It is no accident. All right. So funny how these things are showing up from the water. Or all these bodies are coming from the water. Then as we see some of the survivors, they're, they're, these are two of the 47 who survived out of the 500 supposed refugees. Funny how the 4 and the 7 equal to 11, the good old number of destruction. So again, we can see what's coming. Now a male survivor leans over a female survivor and says, we made it. So made it from what and where are they from? Again, I believe it is from the waters above uh, the earth, the second heaven the realm of Lucifer, the dragon. They came through the water. They came through uh, the same kind of uh, portally imagery that we see the water imagery. Because again, even in the Hebrew or the ancient Hebrew concept of the universe, in fact, many ancients uh, saw the universe, the world this way, a flat stationary earth, just as the word of Yahweh talks about with a dome above us. Uh, and there are waters above that. And the realm of Yahweh is above that as well. So the same kind of thing. I believe this is what we 
we are being shown constantly uh, on a regular basis. And then we see Jude, he asks the little girl uh, that he first found, he says, is your mom here? To which the girl points uh, and responds in the water. Just as we spoke about the fallen angels and the waters above so and also portals showing water. So can you see what this imagery is showing here? Again, you know, from the ancient Hebrew concept and from many other artist depictions, this is the true nature of our world. And I know that many like to ridicule this. I would strongly advise you to please look into this before ridiculing. Even Einstein is quoted as saying that the height of ignorance is the lack, basically, of investigation. So please look into it. Proverbs 18 even talks about the fact that it is folly and shame to a person to consider a matter, uh, sorry, to, to make a decision on a matter before considering it. So please do consider and do some research on that. But really, we can see that this water imagery is constantly being shown on a regular basis. And later we see one of the refugees uh, being questioned by Homeland Security. And she says to him, you listed a date of birth that's almost 150 years from now. Help us understand how that's possible. Uh, the refugee responds back to the agent, you can't imagine what will become possible. So is he really saying that this world as we know it is about to change, that the fifth age is coming, that things that seemed impossible are all of a sudden possible? Why is it that he's talking about uh, a date in the future as his birth? birthday. Well, we will see that in a little later on. Again, we see this water imagery yet again, all these bodies floating in the water. I mean, you know, this is a huge hint when you're awake to the true nature of our world. You know, in my opinion, I know it's also speculation, but I believe we're being told that these beings are definitely coming from the waters above. So these fallen angels are the refugees or these fallen angel refugees that are coming from the waters above. The same kind of thing that has happened before it's going to happen again just as the scriptures tell us this has been prophesied to happen and it is going to happen the fallen angels are going to return and then there's a very interesting exchange of words here we got jude asking the girl how did you get in the water and the girl says we were running away and jude says from what the girl says the war jude says there's no war here but then the girl says, there will be. So again, very, very interesting exchange of words. You know, what do you think it means? When I heard this, it really sounds to me like the war in heaven in good old Revelation 12. I like getting ahead of myself here. Because when we go, as we've mentioned so many times before, Revelation 12 is all about the war in heaven when Michael and his archangels uh, band together and they throw the dragon and his fallen angels out of the second heaven. They're finally kicked out and they're thrown down to the earth exactly as the book of Revelation says from verse 1 of Revelation 12. Next, there was a battle in heaven. Mikhail and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But it was not strong enough to win, so that uh, there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown out, that ancient serpent, also known as the devil and Satan, the adversary, the deceiver of the whole world. He was hurled down to the earth, and his angels were hurled down with him. So I believe this is what is being shown here, how this girl is saying that, that there will be a war, even though uh, the officer is confused that there is no war right now, but she is speaking in the future. So this is the war in heaven, I believe, that is coming very very soon and what is being depicted here and as we keep going we see uh, Sheriff Jude getting held at gunpoint looks like the war is already coming uh, despite Jude not believing there was one but just who is the person now holding this gun to Sheriff Jude's head and why is he or she doing this to the sheriff what do they want and again, as we keep going we see uh, we meet Sheriff Jude's captor who goes by the name Reese and she tells him take me to the dead now, why would she want to go see dead bodies? Usually there would be no reason to see dead bodies at all, and no person wants to go there unless there is a specific agenda at play. At least that's what I would think. And as we get there, we see Sheriff Dude takes her to the bodies and asks, what are you looking for in the hangar? And Reese says, my daughter. So basically, if Reese has a daughter amongst these refugees, then what does that say about what and who? who Reese really is. We've possibly already established that these people are not 
possibly not human they are possibly fallen angels or nephilim so if she has a daughter amongst these uh supposed beings that came out of the water what does that say about who reese is and i think that becomes abundantly clear very soon because suddenly uh good old homeland security arrives on the scene they're fully armed and they surround reese so it seems like all is lost for her or is it because suddenly reese breaks out some mad fighting skills she basically takes all of the officers down despite all of their weaponry and with such ease and speed how is this even possible for this single woman to be able to do this kind of thing and not only that she then manages to fly through the air leap onto tall structures and up to the window way up into the high up in the wall and escape so you know then obviously one of the officers says did you see that how did she do that and homeland security is like this one is different gee you think she is different no human can actually do this kind of thing so i think you can see who this reese character really is you know we already established the fact that if she is coming to see these dead bodies and saying that there is that she has a daughter there and we've already speculated that they're possibly fallen angels or creatures that are not human and if this lady is able to leap like this and have all these kinds of powers what are we being shown here she's obviously not human and then sheriff jude says she's a threat to my town and i need to know what i'm up against homeland security says there could be more with powers out there so and then we get flashed this this uh, message the future that is coming so the ones and, and then somebody else says the ones you need to fear are already here so sounds like the future possibly future this year in 2017 is going to be possibly very revealing is something crazy about to happen right in the year that we are currently in the year 2017 the year 5777 on the hebrew calendar is something big about to happen because it seems like this show already in this trailer are definitely telegraphing to us that something big is about to happen that these beings are coming that the people with powers are about to show up the same kind of thing that x-men and all these superhero movies uh, uh, that the same agenda that they are pushing and as we keep going we see this person saying we're not the first ones to come here so can you see what is being shown here it's really to me saying that the fallen angels have been here before they're going to come again exactly as we saw in the book of jude about what the fallen angels did before and jude actually quoted that from the book of enoch so if we go to enoch we'll see uh, right from chapter 6 of Enoch and it came to pass when the children of men had multiplied that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters and the angels the children of heaven saw and lusted after them and said to one another come let us choose wives from among the children of men and beget us children okay so the same kind of thing that uh, Genesis 6 if at least the book of Enoch gives even more detail as uh, Genesis 6 says in time when men began to multiply on earth the daughters were born to them the sons of God, which are the fallen angels, saw the daughters of men were attractive, and they took wives for themselves, whomever they chose. Adonai said, My spirit will not live in human beings forever, for they are to, for they too are flesh, therefore their lifespan is to be 120 years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterwards, when the sons of God, or the Beneha Elohim, came into the daughters of men. So the fallen angels coming and having relations with the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. These were the ancient heroes, men of renown. So all of these superhero stories, or these uh, movies and books, and comics and all this stuff to do with superheroes and people and beings with power it is all about the same thing where the fallen angels came they left their first estate they crossed over just exactly as this show is called the crossing came into our world and did something that Abba Yahweh forbid them to do. they were not supposed to do that and this has been shown many times as we've uh, said before you've probably heard this movie called Jupiter ascending I know this movie I believe is from 2013 I only saw this recently but yet again you've got a picture or a cartoon picture of the two main actors of course one just happens to have wings so definitely denoting a fallen angel falling in love with a human being so yet again the same kind of imagery that is being shown angels or fallen angels coming and mating with human 
women. They have this obsession with our women because human women belong to human men, not to angels, okay? So this is the same kind of thing that is being shown over and over and over again. So, you know, again, it says this person is saying that they're not the first ones to come here, that it's going to happen again exactly as the word of Yahweh says. And at the last uh, image of this trailer, the lyrics of the song at this final scene says, and it's coming closer. So if that isn't more obvious, I don't know what is, the crossing, I believe, of the fallen angels could be coming into our world very, very soon. We see what looks to be like a giant eye uh, right in the logo of this uh, of the show, but it also reminds me of the flat earth and the ice wall You know if we look at uh, again the true picture of our world I believe it looks something like this obviously this could not be to scale But you've got the the flat earth uh, map with the ice wall around it similar to you can see the the crossing here the same kind of thing the ice wall around uh, the seas and the earth, but of course they've, they've made it into a giant eye, but Really, I believe we are being shown that the fallen angels are coming from the waters above and they are about to cross over into our world yet again because it's the same thing that the Word of God has prophesied right from Isaiah 13 and other chapters as well. But it says, as we've said this verse many times, Isaiah 13, 3, I give command and I bring them. Giants are coming to fulfill my wrath rejoicing at the same time and insulting so the nephilim the fallen angels their offspring is coming they are going to wreak judgment and havoc on this world yahweh is going to let it happen because uh he needs to judge this wicked world of its sin and you know the same kind of thing is manifesting in an I would say allegorical or uh, image way in our in our uh, reality. A friend of mine sent me a private message on YouTube and uh, sent. I found this article quite interesting. It was it was uh, done just a week ago, and it support it says giant hands rise from a canal in Venice to send a powerful message about climate change. So go figure. They love to talk about this climate change nonsense. But anyways, here's what's interesting. Global warming is a ticking time bomb. Uh, that we need to diffuse before it explodes. To raise awareness about this modern issue, Italian artist Lorenzo Quinn has built a monumental sculpture for the 2017 uh, Venice Art Beniali. So guess what the monument is? Here it is. Giant hands reaching out of the water. So talk about the crossing. Talk about all these beings coming out of the water, the fallen angels coming out of the water. Interesting that you've got gigantic hands here coming out of the water. This is the sculpture or the monument that this guy has erected in, in support of climate change and what we have to do. So why does it have to be these gigantic hands? Because the Illuminati, the powers that be, the Luciferian elite, they they know what is coming they are awaiting their giant gods to come and rule this world they think they're gonna have a golden age but that's just not the case there's the sculptor at work right there but this is just more imagery to show the world that giants are coming very soon they're coming from the waters above they're also going to come from the pit below when revelation 19 and or sorry revelation 9 11 and the pit is open and apollyon comes out this is what we are being shown on a regular basis that giants are coming back to the earth Earth, the return of the fallen angels just as Ecclesiastes said one chapter 1 verse 6 that there is nothing new under the Sun what's been done before will be done again so always remember to look into these things for yourself I do not claim to be an expert here I just honestly believe that this show along with so many other movies and television shows are telling us the same thing over and over again that uh, the crossing is going to happen very soon that uh, the battle that these ref the, the supposed refugees are fleeing is the war in heaven they want to rule this world and uh, they are coming very soon so do not be fooled uh, by this these are not just stories these are programming the people predictively programming the people of of earth to get ready for what is coming so as always please do your own research do not believe anything that I say but always be aware of what is being shown to us in plain sight Abba Yahweh bless you